And there are so many questions that I'm sure you'd want to ask concerning our health topic for today. First of all, when they say radiation, do you even understand what it is? You might know how to define it, but do you know, um, you know the different types and what it does uh, in the medical space, in science, in communication and all of that? And so today we're touching base on that and making sure that we explain as much as possible so you know the effects of radiation, especially when it comes to your health and your environment as well. And joining me in the studios, I have Edward Ayem. He's the principal radio at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. Good morning and welcome. Morning. And then also I have Lily Kwakupom. She's a senior radiographer and PRO for Ghana Society of Radiographers. Welcome. I love the purple, by the way. <laughs> and Ayiku Ametete, student president and general secretary of Federation of Ghana Medical Imaging Students Association. You're welcome as well. Thank you. I was just reading about it and I realized that when you use radiation uh, to treat cancer, sometimes it even has an effect on your mouth. Yeah. Yes. I'm only finding out today, but we'll get there. Let's <laughs> first find out what exactly is radiation. Okay. Any of you can answer. All right. So it's a science. Okay. All right. So what we aim to do is use radiation, even though it has it has both negative effects and side effects. We want to utilize the positive side effects mm. to benefit healthcare. Okay. So radiation or radiography, mm. which uses radiation, is to diagnose diseases. Okay. So you can go into any part of the human anatomy, any body system, circulatory, um, digestive system, and then you're able to find problems or diseases, mm. and then there, there can be treatment. Now, when you talk about, you mentioned the mouth, you can mm. have an effect. That's when you're using radiation for treatment, yeah. for therapy. Okay. But it's not a generalized effect. Mm. It's a localized one. Okay. And we always minimize side effects. So it's more beneficial than... It is okay. risky. Yeah. All right, Edward, how does, how does radiation work? Yes, yeah, so um, like uh, Lily said, uh, radiation is a tool that mm -hmm. we employ. Mm -hmm. We get into the human body, and um, by way of the various equipment that have been developed, mm -hmm. we are able to take images of the various parts of the body. Okay. So x-rays go through the body, or magnetic resonance I mean, for MRI, mm. you know, magnetic energy goes through the body okay. and we are then able to, by virtue of the various equipment, take images of various parts of the body, mm. thereby um, finding out what the real problems are okay. with, you know, parts of the body that cannot be seen, you know, mm. uh, with the eye. Okay. So I, that's what... I know there are two types of radiation, the ionizing and the non-ionizing. Non so which one do you use to diagnose diseases? Is so, it both? Yes. So, yes. Oh, okay. Employed. Okay. Both how does how different is ionizing from non-ionizing? So the X-rays are ionizing. Okay. Radiation. What does it mean when you say uh -huh. ionizing? So it means that it is able to create uh, certain effects, which is I mean for the lay person, mm. uh, there are certain effects that can arise from that. We have electrons that are delocalized. I mean, this is a lot of... Technical, yeah. Yes. <laughs> but that is it. That for the ionizing radiation, it's more dangerous, it's more harmful mm. to the body. Uh, the non-ionizing radiation, like ultrasound mm. or magnetic resonance, uh, which we use, mm -hmm. are the non-ionizing. Okay. They have far less um, risk for the human person, mm. and but then are also utilized for... Uh, the same for purposes. the same purposes. Yes. I am you come in and tell me. So um, you're using it to diagnose diseases. What I'm reading is that it's used to diagnose cancer. Is that the only disease that it's used for? And how does it work? Used in diagnosing cancer. Yeah. Well, in treating in cancer. Treating pardon cancer. me. Yes. Okay. But then, if you're diagnosing diseases, how does that work? And what's the process like? Okay. So for treatment of cancer, mm. that's the radiotherapy. Um, when we talk about cancer, cancer is the abnormal growth of cells mm -hmm. in the body. So um, if you using the radiation to treat cancer, the main aim of using the radiation is to damage the DNA of the overgrowing cells mm. in that part. That's, okay. that's causing the cancer. So with time, it doesn't take just one day or to treat cancer. It takes days and weeks. So with Im uh, enough radiation, going into that part of the body. It changes the, the DNA of the cancer cells over there, and then with time, they die off. Okay. When, they, when they die off, the body breaks them down and takes them out of the body. Mm. So that's how the treatment is about. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, even before the treatment, I'm coming back to the diseases because I want to know what kinds of diseases that you can use radiation, um, you know, to diagnose. If I walk into the hospital, what really should be wrong with me for, you know, you to suggest that let's use radiation to figure it out? Okay. It could yeah. be anything. Anything at all? Anything. anything. Okay. From the top of your head to the bottom of your toes, any body system, your blood system, your digestive. If you can't swallow, we can see that. If you can't breathe properly, you can see that. If you can't see properly, we can use um, radiation, non-ionizing and ionizing radiation mm. to check that. To check, so okay. Even for pregnant women, pregnant women come to the hospital to check on their babies yeah. and we use ultrasound for that as well. You could have a problem with your spine, we could use MRI, we could use x-rays, you could have a problem with um, anything at all, we mm. could check. But then the issue with um, radiology, radiology or radiography mm. is to find the best suited um, examination for you. Okay. So you, you have to be clear what exactly you're looking for. That's what we call clinical history. Mm. So you go to your doctor's office, that's why you need to see your doctor first. Mm. And then he's able to examine you to think, mm, you might have a headache. Let's check if you have a problem with your sinuses or you can see properly, mm. all right? Or you can swallow properly. So given that information, when you come to us, we can determine whether we should use an X-ray, we should use an ultrasound, mm. or we should use an MRI. Okay. 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 So different diseases have um, the best modality that will be able to diagnose the problem. All but right. It could be anything. Possible. Speaking of this problem, I also know that radiation could lead to some of these problems as well. You know, they, some of them can cause cancer. Microwave is one of them, and there was a study, 2011 somewhere, uh, the WHO came out and said that, you know, radiation could lead to cancer as well. Can you throw more light on that? So everything, I mean, as we know, has side effects. Okay. Uh, radiation has side effects. Mm. That is why, like Lily said, we strongly recommend that everybody sees a doctor as a first point of call. Okay. And the doctor determines that this needs to be done. Okay. before we expose you to radiation. So mm. you don't just walk in, oh, I have a headache, please. Uh, take an x-ray of my head or my waist is paining me, please. Mm. Take but a you don't only you know, expose us to radiation in the hospital. Yes. Even our everyday lives, there are various activities. That... Exactly. Okay. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So that is why, um, I mean, our, our way of life now is tending us more towards some of these things. Yeah. The fast way. So we have encouraged, and medicine keeps encouraging that the use of microwaves, for instance, should be very minimal. Oh, so not completely cut not, out, yes, but just but minimal. very minimal. I mean, mm. all of these things, even the phones we use, I mean, we have been told that... Mm. The, I was the hoping radiation. it wasn't true. <laughs> but it's true. How does it cause? It's true. These are radiations. Mm. Okay, so once they, they interact with the body, of course, um, there will there will, will be consequences. So what, you're using your phone too much could lead to cancer? Of is course. That, what that is saying? why we are encouraged to either use the Bluetooth or to, you know, the hands-free, you know, but people sleep, okay. you're talking and you fall asleep, your phone, all of these have, Keeping your you phone know, under the pillow exactly, while you're sleeping. All of these have, have effects because there's radiation. Give um, me more examples. Blood. I want to know, even before we, go, we zero in on, on, you know, cancer treatments in particular, <laughs> give me more examples of some of the things that we use that could lead to, we mentioned only phone and microwave. What else? I mean, the, the, the ultraviolet rays as well? Yes. In, in fact, uh, even the sun. Yeah. Even the rays of the sun. Mm. That's why you shouldn't, I mean, too much of it can have effects on us. But we live in okay. a country where yes, there's we do. too much sunlight. We do. And you can't hide from it. <laughs> <laughs> well, people recommend that you yes. use sunscreen. Okay. You know, but I think naturally for melanated people, when you're dark skinned, you're a bit more protected than okay. if you're lighter skinned. Mm. You get, but, but you should still avoid. Yes, yes. Mm. What about even if you're airplanes? In airplanes even give radiation mm. okay. because we compare doses. You know, when uh, you're standing radiation protection, you compare the dose that you get doing certain things. But then we have things we call threshold. Okay. If you go above that certain threshold, then you're likely to get an effect. Mm. How would you know? that you're going above the threshold? Are well, wouldn't I wouldn't know, right? Yeah. Exactly. So that means that I'm a walking zombie, <laughs> basically, because I could be exposed to anything at all and I can't tell if, you know, uh, that's leading to a disease or something, right? So it can be likened to lottery. Okay. If you should buy one ticket, it means you have just one chance of me winning. Mm. But if you have 10 more, 10, you buy 10 tickets, it means you have 10 more chances of winning. Mm. So it's the same. If you have a microwave, you have a mobile phone, you expose yourself to a lot of radiation. It means your chances of getting cancer 
-hmm. It's more. Mm. Yes, yeah, so you have to reduce your use of the mobile phone, the microwave, going for x-rays and... You should like go that. for x-rays all the time? No, no. you don't have to. Oh, so if, okay. you, if you expose oh, yourself more... if you're doing more, it too much, okay. Yes, the okay. more chance you get, the more likelihood for you to get um, cancer from it. Okay, now let's talk about the treatment of cancer mm -hmm. and the role that radiation plays in there as well. I know you briefly touched on it, but if yeah. we can expand even more now on it. Okay, so like he said, um, one of the areas, you know, in radiography is the treatment of cancer. Mm. And so, like he said, these cancer cells, which are basically deranged cells in mm. the body, growing abnormally, uh, are targeted, and by the use of radiation, mm. um, these cells are bombarded so much that they die, Okay. basically. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's what happens. Mm. So somebody has cancer. If it is detected early enough, mm -hmm. then, um, you know, they go through the processes and they end up um, having radiotherapy. Okay. And that is what happens. So the particular area of the body that is affected, there's radiation mm -hmm. focused on that area over a certain period of time. And those cells... Um, is it 100% effective? So let me add to what he mm -hmm. said. Okay. Uh, in October, we had breast cancer awareness. Mm -hmm. So we're promoting that women go for checkups. Okay. Now, when you say checkups, um, you're coming to the radiology unit. Mm -hmm. You're coming to do an ultrasound mm -hmm. or a mammogram. Mm -hmm. And the main aim is to find cancer cells before they are um, difficult to treat. Okay. So you're using radiology to um, look out, to diagnose the disease. And then after you're diagnosed, you have to go for treatment. Mm -hmm. Treatment can be chemo, it can be radiotherapy as well. Mm. So then they are going to use the radiation to try and cure the cancer. The cancer. Yes. The same radiation that they used to discover yes, exactly. the cancer is now going to be used to cure it as yes. well. Yes. What could be the side effects? They are more localized for okay. radiotherapy. Because if you're exposing with radiotherapy, they use very high speed um, ionizing radiation, that's the gamma rays, mm. to be able to, um, is the main aim is precision. So okay. you're able to find out exactly where the cancer cells are, and then you target them mm. to be able to destroy them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you might have localized problems over there, but then it's that's it's not long term. After a while, it goes away. Uh, when you say it's not long term, so what are these uh, side effects? Blistering. You okay. can have the dry. Skin. Yes. Oh. Dry, itchy skin. You know, because you're going to kill good cells as well as. Um, bad mm. cells, even though you are targeting. Okay, so yes. do you lose your hair in the process as well, could no, you? No, that's for chemo. That's for chemo, yes. so that's totally different from radiation. Yes. But so if you're saying, you're saying, um, if you have maybe a head and neck cancer, mm -hmm. and then you're going for radiotherapy, then you will lose your hair because mm. then they'll be targeting your head mm. or your scalp. So it depends so if you localize it. Yeah. I also know that when it comes to liver cancer, the very fatal kind, there's a kind of radiation that is used. Is that really true? And what kind of radiation is that? It's still therapy. It's still the same therapy. Yeah. Okay, so it's not a different kind. No. Okay, so no effects at all. Side effects localized, like I said, because yeah. if it's your liver, then you're going to target your abdomen. But then therapists work with precision. They have mm. to, you know, map the area and then be precise where they're going to. So they don't destroy too many of the good cells that surround the bad cell. Okay, now let's yes. come back to the environment. Who is more prone um, to effects of radiation? Is it more of children or adults or is it equal uh, across board? Yeah, equal across board. We are all, you know, prone. But of course, our children, uh, you know, in the developmental stages are more prone. That is why care and attention, you know, should be given to uh, our children mm. more. But of course, we are all... So for children as well, do they go through the same process of radiation to discover diseases and stuff? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. and their system is strong yes. enough to withstand it? Yes. Yes, yes. so uh, we don't just... Um, expose you to radiation, mm -hmm. of course. So there are doses that would give, and we, we are measured in all of that. All these things are calculated to ensure that you have what we call the Alara, uh, as low as reasonably acceptable dose. That's what Alara? Alara. As low so it's as a principle in, 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 in radiography, or in radiation practice. So we give you the dose that is as low as reasonably acceptable, mm. you know, in order for us to achieve, um, you know, maximal uh, 
effect. I see. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, I, I hope that we have at least thrown some light on it for you, just in case you've had questions about radiation. And that would be all for our health segments, unless you want to touch on something briefly before we go. Yes. Um, okay. So this Friday mm. is World Radiography Day, or International Day of Radiology. Mm. We use that to um, globally celebrate the discovery of x-rays and the mm. beginning of imaging practice. So that will be on the 8th of November. Awesome. And as GSR, we are organizing a, an event at the University of Cape Coast at 9 a.m. as the School of Medical Sciences Auditorium. Awesome. Okay. So that's what we'll be doing to celebrate Wilhelm Rongen for his amazing discovery of x-rays. William Watt Rongen? Yes. I see. Okay. And so anybody at all can attend? Yes, yes please. It's, it's open, open to everybody. Yes. All right. What time again is it? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. All right, so I hope that you'll be there, especially if this is a topic that you're very passionate about and interested in as well. I've been speaking to Aiku Ahmed Tete, Students President and General Secretary of Federation of Ghana Medical Imaging Students Association. And Lily Kwakupom is a Senior Radiographer and PRO at the Ghana Society of Radiographers. And Edward Ayem is a Principal Radiographer at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. So thank you so much for joining right. me. Thank you. 